Hi everyone, it's your very favorite history teacher. Let me see your transcript. I just got through watching a very interesting video from anti african Bengali. And if you have not seen it, please go over there and check it. I'm also gonna put a link in the description. So apologize if I'm speaking very fast. I wanted to show you about a very important tool that I actually forgot all about it until after I saw anti afro Bengali's video. Uh, a couple months ago, I actually signed up for Pacer. And here's how you can uh, sign up. Right here at the top, you'll see pcl.uscourse.gov slash pclindex.jsf. Or you can just type it in Google. And you go to the, you'll bring to this page and you can log in. If you do not have an account, it has right here, it says, need an account. And then right here, you will fill out this information. And then you will, uh, it'll say uh, the email type. Then it's a check if this is a used by an attorney. I'm not an attorney, so I did not check that. And then I said, you know, user verification on a robot. And I click next. On the next page, it's going to ask you basically either you have two options. You can have them mail you the authentication code so that you can actually search and print documents, cases, or you can give them your credit card information and you get instant access. You will not be charged until, let's say, you want to print something, okay? Or you, or you touch a specific case. If you're just doing a, like a, just a search, you're looking, you don't get charged for that. You only get charged when you click on a specific case and you want to print it, okay? So um, I had forgot all about my code that I take 17 business days. So here I am thinking like, I don't know what that paperwork is now. So I gave them my credit card information. Okay, so here I am. I've got my access now. I got to log in. And then I can go, go find cases. You can do a, a short search or a bad or or an advanced search. If you know the type of case it is, if you know the number, seven. Oops, I forgot something there. It's because it's a civil case. Twenty twenty uh, is most likely going to be the year. Okay, and then it's going to ask me, most important thing, know the date and know the number. If you don't know the number, um, you also can pick what I want to open case. And then if I know what circuit court it is, because a lot of these also on this PACER or federal uh, courts. There's district courts all over the country, but they are also federal courts. And then when I'm done with all of that, as you can see, the date. The case number is open in the third circuit. And then I'm going to click search. And then this is what comes up. An actual case. And look what he says. Billable pages. At least one. So 10 cents. It's 10 cents a page. Not very not very um, bad at all. Also over here you can do so you can download your search results. Let's say you have a colleague or someone you want to give the information to, you can give it to them. You can also refine your search. You can uh, have different columns displaying information. Also right here, you can save this to searches. So let's say you want to come to this again the next time you get on the computer, but you don't want to type everything. This is a really good saver right here. I actually could have did this, but I wanted to show you how to get here first. Okay. So you have saved items, court information, settings, new search, okay? And I'm going to show you uh, what I did. So right here, it shows you what kind of case it is, the civil rights case. Archibald is the plaintiff. Johnson, it's supposed to be Johnson. Johnson is the defendant. And they say you can show parties involved. This is the case the court is going to be in and the date it was filed, okay? So this was basically happened this week. You click on it, it pops up another screen. It takes a while. All right, I'm gonna go here to view document. 
Okay, so it said I don't have permission to see that document. So I'm going to go back. And then this time I'm going to put in two. And here I have one is nine pages, and then the attachment designation form is one. Okay. All right. So I just want you to show you this can be a good resource for anyone who is doing like investigative work, um, trying to search to locate family members, someone who is um, doing some research on a topic. It can be for college, law school, uh, if you're a paralegal, if you're a lawyer, if you're a judge, if you're a clerk in someone's court and, you, and your boss says, hey, did you go find this case? You know, we have a court case coming up, and so I need you to go find this is the number, this is the name, and I need you to go find the information. Okay, um, this is uh, this uh, website can be used, like I said, for professionals and novices or people who are not. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, when you do this, it'll, it'll say run report, and then, like I said, uh, it'll say. Uh, it'll ask you to download it. Hold on, I'm gonna show you how to, what happens when you say download it. When you download it, this is when you're gonna be able, this is gonna tell you how much it is. Nine pages, 10 cents a page, and the first page, okay? All right, so it's not actually very expensive, but I'm probably assuming that there are probably gonna be cases that have over 30 pages, so um yeah so it'll that should be three dollars you know so uh but once you uh download it it'll come as a zip it'll come as a zip folder and then you'll have to extract the zip folder and then once you have the folder the pdf then you have the information okay now some of you are probably saying okay uh let me see the transcript that's nice and all but i don't have time to do all this information and do all this. I just want the information. Well, guess what? You also can pay people like me to go get the information for you. And this is one of the things that they use, okay? So that's why I'm also showing you how to do this on your own because maybe you want to pay someone, you know, maybe you want to save some money by printing it yourself rather than paying someone several uh, hundred dollars to get this information for you. I'm just saying, it was a thought, okay? Um, put down in the comments, uh, what kind of other, I haven't done a how-to video in a very long time. Uh, show me some, uh, let me know what other how-to videos you would like for me to do. Or if you are interested in me actually uh, looking up some information for you, um, I'm sorry, it's not free because it does cost, but I definitely won't be someone that you have to pay several hundreds of dollars a day or a week to do it. So, um, you can go to my about page, click, uh, my email, or you can just leave me, leave the information as, or you can just, uh, Facebook message me as well. So, but I'm here to help you, but I want to give you things that are going to empower you to move on, or not to move on, but to help you in your life. So hopefully I'm doing something that uh, can be of great service to you, okay? All right, this is Let Me See Your Transcript, the Very Very History Teacher, signing off. I will talk to you later. See you in the chats.